Well, <laughs> the weatherman was right. It's freezing cold. Whew. Here we go. My window's frozen shut again. I only found out once I was already in the drive-thru for Tim's. That's what I was talking about, one of those side effects of washing your vehicles in the cold weather. But it's worth it because we're driving a clean truck. They'll let go eventually. Good morning, but uh, we're just going to say it's going to be a good day, right? We're just going to say that. Speak it into existence. It's going to be a good day. As long as I stay in the truck, it's nice and warm. The temperature this morning when I got going was minus 34 Celsius, which is minus 29 Fahrenheit. Uh, the brakes were frozen on the trailer. I had to bang them free set them free so that we could go. Thank God they get to park these trucks indoors. Because this truck would probably not have started. <laughs> Guarantee it probably would not have started, even if it was plugged in. Would have taken all day just to warm it up, then it'd be time to go home.
right around the corner. Wish I had time to go stock up on a little bit of ammo. Last time we went skeet shooting, I used up... Well, we used quite a bit that day. I think I have one box left. So it's not like I've got nothing, but I do need to go and stock up again. We also got Ikea here. So Sweden, you have left your mark on Manitoba. Congratulations. You've made it.
that's our biggest thing right now. We have a gas furnace, but the fan that blows the hot air is electric. So if our power ever goes out, we don't have heat. Peterbilt. Blumenort is getting a Peterbilt dealership. Look at this. This is where I saw that cab over. Remember we came and took a look at it about a month or two ago and I asked, would you drive a cab over? And all the Europeans laughed. Yeah, that's the place. I was wondering, why is there a big Peterbilt sign there, right? Turns out they're building a brand new Peterbilt dealership right there at the PBX. Now you know, they got a Peterbilt dealership and a traffic light. Blumenort, proud of you. At least you went with Peterbilt. There's also a new Freightliner dealership moving into Steinbach, just down the road from here. So there's a new Peterbilt dealership here. There's a new Freightliner being built at Steinbach. Volvo Steinbach uh, just bought Freightliner's old building. So now there's a new Volvo building, new Volvo dealership. They upgraded. A lot of trucking stuff going on around here. All they need is a, a Kenworth. We're gonna have to talk to Andy, right? Talk to Andy, tell him Steinbach needs a Kenworth and maybe uh, we can uh, get Andy to come out here and run it, eh? You guys watch this channel? Andy, the Kenworth guy? I've talked about him uh, a couple of times already. He, He's a sales guy at Inland Kenworth in Winnipeg, and he has a YouTube channel. It's called Andy the Kenworth Guy. Or I think it's just called The Kenworth Guy, but his name's Andy. He actually makes really good videos, and he's got a couple of awesome trucks that he's trying to sell. It'd be pretty cool if we had a Kenworth dealership here in town. I mean, I guess the new Peterbilt might not like the competition, but competition, that's what the market's all about, right? That's what keeps everybody on their toes. What else do we got over here? International. There's no international dealership in Steinbach, as far as I know. Closest one is on the other side of Winnipeg. As long as you got a Peterbilt, I think that's all that that, that, that the world needs. A little bit of Peterbilt, a little bit of Kenworth. Oh yeah, you got a Volvo in there too for the Volvo guys. There's a lot of you out there. Volvo makes good trucks. Okay, you got to hand it to them. Volvo makes good trucks. It's just it's not a Peterbilt. That's the only criticism I have of it. It's not a Peterbilt. And it's not a Kenworth. My favorite truck is the Kenworth W900. And I like Kenworth and Peterbilt equally. And Volvo's just beneath them in my mind, my personal opinion. I've driven lots of Volvos. Great trucks, very comfortable. Lots of space. You remember Trucks Unlimited, right? That's where I bought my moose bumper for my Freightliner when I had it, the Freightliner Century, remember that? And it's also where I brought my Volvo for many repairs. It's just off here to the left. It was called Trucks Unlimited. Uh, it was the Freightliner in, in town. They sold to Volvo. So Volvo's by, now going to move into that shop, or they've already moved in, I think, in the, in the process of it. And Freightliner's going to be off in this field off to the right. Oh, big things happening. Tell you what. In this town, you're either a farmer or you're a trucker. But you're probably a Mennonite. <laughs> Chevy, what do you have to say to the good people? Diesel. You sit. <coughs> sit. Why did I have to ask you twice? You're a good boy though, Diesel. Good boy. So, today was a, uh, lovely little Monday it was cold and it's supposed to be just as cold tomorrow for some reason I am so tired I got home from work and I just wanted to do absolutely nothing so oh we got this put together for you anyways and I'm gonna get a good sleep tonight I think it's just the cold weather and I'm getting older I'm not old yet though okay I'm not old yet but I'm getting mm -mm. I'm climbing the hill and it's getting steeper. I think in your mid thirties is when you all—that's when you start to feel it. You start to realize, oh, 
I'm not immortal. Oh. Anyways, we're going to get ready to go to bed here and we'll film another day tomorrow and hopefully we'll be able to get some more filming done here at home after work. Tonight we're just, we're too out of it. Oh, oh Britt had a delicious supper ready when I came home. It was a uh, chicken Caesar salad again and, uh, and uh, real garlic toast with real garlic and, and cheese, real cheese. It was so good. Yes, it's putting me to bed. So we're supposed to possibly be seeing our fertility doctor in the next couple of days. So hopefully we'll have some good news for you soon. So far, nada. But I'll keep you, I'll keep you up to date, okay? Fingers crossed this week, okay? Keep your fingers crossed for us. We'll talk to you later.